everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel natural living by inovi where i show you how easy it is to prepare your favorite meals with healthy options driving directions around jamaica self-care home care and so much more my focus is always on a healthy lifestyle and discussions on how to maintain a positive mindset remember to like subscribe share and comment subscription is free so all you need to do is press that red arrow at the bottom of the video okay um today we will be packing lunch <clears throat> we're gonna be packing rice. rice and uh, stew peas and some other items So I'm not making too much of it, it's just a little bit of rice, just about a handful because I'm going to have other snacks and if I'm going to have other snacks that means I have to have less starch in my lunch. You could also use other things like maybe some boiled ripe plantain or some yam or sweet potato. So it's cold, so it's gonna look like this, but it's, when it's warmed up, it's gonna look really yummy. Lots of bone in it, which is good for you. Lots of meat, which is good for you. So I'm not a big red meat eater right now, but I will. I love to use um, the beef bones because it's really good for you. Like some people use it in beef broth, so I will make soup with it, or sometimes I use um, use it to make stew peas. But I'm not a big red meat eater right now. I still eat red meat, but I'm not a big red meat eater. This is my maybe second favorite meal. My favorite meal is dal and rice and choker saltfish, saltfish choker, or maybe with curry chicken, but this is my second favorite meal. So I cook it all the time, and when I make it, I make a really big batch. So if this doesn't cost much money, it's just the coconut cream and the beef and the peas, the red peas. So you will see it in video number 50 on my YouTube channel, Natural Living by Inovi. Here I have some just simple steamed veggies, carrot, cabbage, and some pak choy. And some of the pieces of perfect cabbage in it too. And I like to use a glass dish with my lunch because I don't like to use plastic in the microwave. So I find that glass dish is, in my opinion, much healthier to use in the microwave. I really don't like to use the microwave, but at work I have to use it. I don't have a choice. So I just keep it healthy with the glass dish. This is really a Pyrex dish, but you can use anything you feel like. And I use the plastic wrap because it keeps it secure. So just in case my bag turns over or something, the, the top won't fall off. And I have this, this was a huge roll of plastic wrap. I have it about five years now. So you might see me using a lot of plastic wrap, but it didn't cost much because I just bought a big, like a commercial roll. Here now, I have my little KFC coleslaw container. I, I keep them because they come in really handy. 
And when I cut my tomatoes, I like to leave them in a, instead of putting them in a, putting them in a plastic bag, I just put them in a glass container. My knife isn't too sharp here, but I usually use a serrated knife, edge knife to cut my tomatoes, but it's early morning. <laughs> I wasn't really going for, I just grab the first knife. And this knife needs to be sharpened. So it's better to do it the night before because it this took me over half an hour especially because I was recording it took me about 40 minutes so this can be done the night before but sometimes I'm so tired after the long drive home I don't have the energy to pack my lunch these are some mini containers I have left over from my catering days so I still use them up I got these at a place called the Chang's or Chung's in Harbury Tree. Most people know it. It's a store where you buy stuff if you have like a catering business or a restaurant or so. So it's good to have these to like put your salad dressing in. But what all I'm gonna have with my I just want a little bit of salt on my tomatoes. So I usually keep up container with a little salt in my lunch bag so I take it out and throw it out the other day because it was in my bag for quite a while so I just like to keep it just in case instead of using salad dressing I just use a little bit of salt okay I'm gonna make my coffee now I just, I like to drink my coffee out of a nice ceramic mug and um, I don't leave my mug in the office. I take it home, wash it and uh, do what I'm going to do each day. So I start off with a little sugar. I like to have my tea sweet because that is like my sweet treat for the day. When I have my tea, I don't need to have cake or anything like that. So I put a little sugar in there. And because I'm not gonna add the water, what I do is add the coffee and give it a stir so that the coffee coats the sugar so I won't have the coffee um, getting into clumps and looking a little messy when I'm ready to have my tea. So this way the coffee just dissolves easily. Then I add my water. You don't have little clumps of coffee in, in the tea, in the mug. To say coffee powder in the mug. So I mix that up. And then I'm gonna add, you can use whatever you want. Um, sometimes I use like Lasco with a little coconut milk, but I'm not doing that today. I'm treating myself this week to some condensed milk. It's another one of my favorite things. A lot of people don't use it because they said I want to keep healthy, but it's another one of my sweet treats. Um, I don't um, pour it into a bottle or anything because it just lasts about five days or so. So I just wash off the tin, I take off the paper, wash off the tin, cut it, and then cover it and put it in the fridge. My mom never did that. She always put her condensed milk in a milk container. So I'm going to cover that also with, um, if you have a, a mug that comes with a cover, that would be great. But um, I just really love this mug. So, and it keeps my tea hot because it's not wide. So it keeps my, my tea hot for long. So I'm going to use my scissors to just cut it and that makes it easier because the box that I used to tear it that has been long gone that's my coffee I'm going to put a spoon in there put back everything in the fridge that I just see there in that is a pink cup pop up container is some cornmeal pudding but I had left over but I totally forgot to add it to my lunch bag and 
then um otherwise I wouldn't have to carry the other snacks but um yeah I didn't get to you carry any cornmeal pudding today my water bottle I don't drink from this at all I just top it up each day and use it to make my tea. They have water at work sometimes, but sometimes I don't. So I just like to be prepared and bring my water. This is now is my little money saving thing I just put instead of having like a plastic water bottle and I really don't like drinking anything from plastic so I use a coffee bottle as my water bottle so if I need a sip of water during the day then I will have that um, it's not very hot now so I don't drink that much water if I'm exercising I will drink more water and I drink more water on the weekends I should maybe improve on that this year. But I drank a lot of water over the summer. If I'm ex if you're exercising, then you need more water. If you're not doing a lot of exercise or the time is not hot, you definitely don't need as much water, in my opinion. I think you can oversaturate yourself with water. Because I see a lot of people who are drinking a lot of water, they are very overweight. I'm not saying that is the reason, but it's just an observation I made. And I try to, I put a little bit of the plastic in the middle down, so nothing works, so that it doesn't um, tear apart when I, I cover it. Same thing for this. But feel free to use whatever you feel comfortable with. It's just easy to wash too. The long water bottles are way too hard to wash. With this little bottle, I can just use my hand with a soap and sponge and wash it easily. I'm going to use some plastic wrap now for my fruits. You have to have your fruits during the day. So I have some leftover oranges. I usually eat the big ones first. So these are like little tiny ones. And they're a little hard, so they're a little harder to peel. Get the peel off. This is an easy way for me to prepare my oranges. So I just cut it in four, and then I take off the skin. And that's my orange. Remember to like, subscribe, share and comment. Press that little red arrow at the bottom of the video. Subscription is free. Let's go get back to my oranges now. And I like to cut off the little white part in the middle. These oranges are have gotten hard. But I don't let anything spoil because oranges are very expensive right now in Jamaica. And I also take out the seeds. Give the edge a little cut because it could skin is so hard right now because they're a little old but nothing goes to waste what I actually did later in the day was use one of the oranges and put it in the water and in the coffee bottle and just give it a good shake and that you know made my water a little tasty for the day and then I ate the oranges
The skin is really tough. This is a knife I should have used to cut the tomato. Okay, and I did the same thing with the next orange. You know, as you go along, it makes everything easier in the end. As you notice, I do a lot of these things with the stoves because that is where I get the best. That is where I get the best lighting in the house, in the kitchen, and I don't have a lot of cupboard, and I don't have a lot of cupboard space. And I make sure to take my fork. Normally, I use some not not this not, not the Ziploc bags because those are expensive. I would buy some regular poly bags. But I ran out, so I will just put my forks in those. And I take some extra napkins. Always need napkins. Okay, so let's start to pack our lunch. I love planting chips and I will eat my peanuts, which is extra protein. It's salted, but I like a little extra salt. 
if you could also take a yogurt but i'm not taking any yogurt today you could use that instead you can choose what you want your snack to be you can carry an apple and or more than one fruit you can carry some veggies you can carry peanut butter an apple or peanut butter and some rice cakes those are good low fat snack low calorie snack not low fat you know but it's good fat and you need good fats in your diet because certain vitamins can only be absorbed with fat so that's why you have to have good fats in your diet and if you cut out your fats and you lose weight you will look your face will look old and drawn so keep your fats in your diet healthy fats coconut oil olive oil your nuts of course, I, um, I just use a little rubbing alcohol to clean up my lunch bag because it doesn't carry a smell. So now I'm packing. It's a pretty huge lunch bag. I see some nice lunch containers online. Maybe one day I'll get one of those like a fancy ones with all sorts of compartments, maybe. But for now, I'm actually planning to just um, become a minimalist. So a lot of stuff I have, I'm just gonna get rid of them, sell them in a garage sale, give away what I can give away, donate what I can donate to charity, and just have exactly what I need. Because as you get older, that is what you should do. dish towel to work or I could use sometimes I also carry a pot holder because when the glass is finished heating up in the microwave the lunch it's extremely hot so I use that to hold it um, and take it back to my desk to have my lunch and we are all done but the video is not done just packing up the back this is me now in my office all i do is i'm using one hand so it's a little awkward i just heat up my water and pour it in i have my own hot pot it's my personal one i took from my home the spoon is much too short for the glass but this is how the stew peas look with spinners i didn't make this one with spinners because i was reducing the amount of starch in my diet but this is how it looks check out this video number 50. rice is all done now I made this is it about 20 skin. minutes after I mean, I'll, I'll just show, let it cook slowly I'll show you. so it's not burnt or anything it's just nice and shelly what we call shelly but still soft not hard Video 51, I'll show you how to make perfect white rice without using a rice cooker and without it sticking to the bottom of the pot. This is very hot now. Heat it up ready for lunch, lots of steam coming off. You just let it see in the microwave about 4 minutes. And I really, really enjoyed my lunch. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like, subscribe, share and comment, click that little red arrow at the bottom of the video, so subscription is free and you can press the notification bell so you will be notified when my videos are up. So thanks for watching and I'll be having more of these type of videos coming soon, very soon because I realize people need ideas how to pack lunches that don't cost a lot of money. And if you're not from Jamaica, you can still try these dishes. They're really delicious.